Cause you about to be an ATL ATL. Y'all, I need to have some fun on tonight. All this bad news. It's too much bad news. Okay. But let me go ahead and get through this. Um, um, uh, Tamara Tattles. <sighs> oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord. Shout out to Sandra Rose, too, because me and Sandra Rose have been talking about this for a few days now. Sandra Rose knew um, that, uh, you know, I knew Tamara Tattles. I met Tamara Tattles in person once or twice or three times. Uh, she and I was in court together. Y'all may recall when uh, Sheree Whitfield uh, took us all to court um, over Chateau Sheree, it was me, it was Tamara Tattles, and it was Junkie Dineva, okay? So um, TMZ had even reported on it, and uh, we all appeared in court together, and that is how I became aware of Tamara Tattles. I didn't know who Tamara Tattles was, okay? But uh, here it is right there, look, Sheree. And uh, at the end, okay, at the end, it says... Uh, Sheree had claimed that Tamara gained access inside the home on February 18th, took pics and video and posted them online. And Sheree said she was afraid for her life because Tamara posted pictures of her construction site. <sighs> the judge, of course, granted three temporary restraining orders because, you know, before when you go get a restraining order, you just fill out the paperwork and the judge say, is that cause? OK. And they give it to you. That don't mean that they forever. And then, you know, you go to court. He listened to the other side and then he decided whether to make it permanent. He listened to our side and he dismissed the restraining orders. Okay. So um, you know, I you know, I have um access to TMZ, and so I had uh gave them a little comment and I told TMZ that me and uh Junkie Dineva never trespassed on the property. I couldn't speak for Tamara at the time. Okay. Um, and uh what we had posted, we was on the bus stop, okay. Look. <laughs> I said, was posting on that blog, was taken from the street near the stop sign. Y'all remember we, me and Junkie Dineva was at the stop sign, okay? She adds, I have not been served with any legal documentation, but my attorney's not anxiously wait its arrival. That's what I said, because at the time, I hadn't been served. So anyway, I went to court. I met Tamara. Uh, Tamara was a very nice uh, uh, woman. Um she wasn't what I thought she was. I mean, she wasn't what a lot of people thought she was. And when people read her site, they thought she was a black woman. But, you know, that ain't that. Listen, I'm not the keeper of secrets. It's not about what I say. It's what I, what I don't say. I knew she was a white woman this whole time. And everybody was like, yeah, nobody told us she was Caucasian. Michelle, why you didn't tell us she was Caucasian? She was black fishing. She was not black fishing. She was writing about the stories y'all wanted her to write about. She just didn't tell you. Who and what you know what she was? Okay, Radiant says she never thought she was black. Okay, you could tell by the way she um by the way she wrote for me. I could tell because you know those unconscious biases come out in your writing and in your speaking and all of that. So I could tell when I first read it. I knew she was a white woman, but she was you know a lovely white lady with red hair. Okay. Uh, oh no, she not. She had a hateful soul. Y'all just be having, y'all just be having fans. Y'all just be fans of people and y'all just be mad because they be standing for your faves, you know, because I remember she used to read Nene down. She was like Team Kenya. And then she leaked uh, Kenya's um, marriage photos and then Team Kenya turned on her and then she started dragging Kenya and now everybody was pissed off at her. But yeah, she passed away. You know, I don't know the cause of death, um, which was one of the reasons why it took me so long to talk about it. Because, you know, I like to have facts. I don't like to say nobody is gone without knowing they were gone. And so after we got the uh, the obituary, okay, after we got the obituary, I sent it to Sandra. She did her post and I said, I'm going to come on here and talk about it. Um, you know, it was confirmed. Okay. A lot of people were speculating because her last post was uh, December 23rd. And so all of her uh, people on her blog been up under that post. So if you go to Tamara Tattles right now and go up under that post, you know, they, you know, wishing her well. One of her friends, assuming it's a friend. We don't know these people. Okay. You don't know people online. It could be anybody. That's why I said, like, I'm not going to, you know, talk about it until I get confirmation because somebody came under there. was like, I'm a friend of her sister's cousin's mama. And she passed away on Tuesday. And apparently it was true. And so everybody was wishing her well and everything. And so um, here's Sandra's post on the matter. Sandra said reality TV blogger Tamara Tattles, real name Tamara K. Bronner of Smyrna, Georgia, passed away on Sunday, January 8th. She was 58 years old. 
Tamara was best known for her reality TV show recaps and breaking news on her popular blog, Tamara Tattles. According to the obituary, Tamara attended Sprayberry High School in Marietta and held an undergraduate and advanced degree from the University of Georgia. Tamara is preceded in death by her parents, Robert F. and Ruby Lee Bronner, and her sister, Sharon Lee Bronner. She is survived by brothers Felton J. Bronner of Marietta and Robert V. Bronner of Athens, sister Linda Bronner of Kennesaw. She is also survived by many nieces, nephews, and extended family. Uh, there would be visitation at Mays Ward Funeral Home in Marietta on tomorrow. If y'all want to send flowers, well wishes, Whatever y'all want to stand, go, you know, y'all can go to the funeral home, you know, um, and she will be buried tomorrow at uh, 2.30. So here is her obituary for those of you who uh, want proof. Okay, hold on. I see y'all, you said they had some ethnic family names. You think they did? Those ethnic names. So um, people was like, what she had looked like? This is what she had looked like, okay? Um, that's a very good picture of her because when I saw she, her hair was like flaming red. Um, you said she used to spill tea. Yeah, yeah, listen, I don't have no doubt that she had her sources and I have my sources, but a lot of times our sources, you know, they didn't mesh up. Um, you know, I'm not throwing shade or nothing. I'm just saying. So uh, there's that. So if you want to share a memory, you can share it on the Maze Ward Dobbins uh website in the obituary type in her name and uh there she is um condolences to her family you said this is a kevin samuels type of announcement no it's not i'm just telling you what i know from the outside i'm just i'm just telling you what i know okay you said i better do my homework i'm just right i'm just telling y'all what had, um what's transpiring a lot of people want to know like they don't know her outside of the blog. I'm just telling you from my perspective who she was, you know, from my perspective. Now, I don't know her like her friend. Like, you know, they say she traveled a lot um, when we were going through the situation with the Sheree Whitfield, uh, Sheree's fans. Who knew that Sheree had fans, honey? But anyway, Sheree's fans had tried to dox her. I'm sure they tried to dox me, too. But if they dox me, it's like, oh, OK, she live over there. That ain't Shay if she live over there. So they never really put my house or nothing online. But they put Tamara's house online um, and she didn't live in a particularly nice neighborhood. And so, you know, she was explaining herself online, saying how, you know, she lived there because she liked to travel and she liked, you know, going outside and she didn't like spending all her money on you know, luxuries like a big house and yada, 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 which is fine. Um, I don't know. It's just, I, yeah, you said not me, the troll. Uh, it makes sense that she was a white woman. She dragged and lied on Nene so many times. Well, you know, one of the clues that she was Caucasian was her views on like George Floyd and, and Trayvon Martin, all of that. And a lot of y'all caught that, but it's like, how y'all catching it now? The same way we're all about the tea. Y'all y'all swear up and down that that Monica chick from All About the Tea is a black woman and she is not. So I'm just saying sometimes, you know, it's not about asking the questions because when people don't show you their face, y'all just assume that everybody is, is one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is not. Okay. You said Marietta has a, a not nice neighborhood. Yeah, well, yeah. They do Smyrna. They do have some not nice neighborhoods in Smyrna. Um, you wish you could remember her. Well, there's that. She was off towards me. And that's the point. I never really read her site like that. You know, every now and then she would link me and stuff and I would go over there and thank her or whatever. But I, you know, y'all knew her better than I did. But I did want to, um, you know, tell y'all. Uh, what about, oh, we did. Well, I, I don't need to show all that. But um, yeah, so. Yeah, so condolences to uh, Tamara Tattles. Uh, anything else y'all want to know? What else y'all want to know? Um, I knew she was clear from the way she wrote. Never heard her voice. Okay. Uh, she is not a non-factor. Nobody is a non-factor, but she is a blogger. So when I, when I, somebody in, you know, somebody at your job pass away, you're going to at least talk about it and give them their props for being, you know, able to do what you do. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Uh, not next side. Uh, not next. You said uh, I didn't read her site. I stayed on straight from the A, especially in the 2009, 2010. Okay. Shout out to Kendra. I see you. Um, another thing. Let me see. 
I'm gonna talk about my experience with Pamela Carroll. When she first started her site, I think I told y'all this the other day. Maybe I told y'all, maybe I told Patreon. But when she first started her site, um, she reached out to me or I reached out to her and we talked a lot about monetizing her site. I used to give like advice to a lot of up and coming bloggers. And um, I actually, you know, offered to put her under my umbrella because a lot of blogs, when you first start, Google AdSense won't allow you, no matter how much traffic you got, to put um, your ads on there until you've been uh, established for a certain number of time. I don't know if a certain number of months or whatever. But uh, yes, child, I used to get free advice all the time. Not no moto. I, I learned my lesson. But, um, you know, I, you know, I had told her she needed to, you know, what she needed to do. And she was like, you know, she would rather go get ads from like Coke or uh, what did she say? I'd rather go get ads from Coke and Delta, you know, because I know people there or whatever. And I was like, I understand that. And she was like, you know, and those Google ads just pay pennies. And I was like, girl, pennies add up. What are you talking about? So, you know, we used to always go back and forth. But she reached out to me when I started doing my YouTube channel and she told me uh that she was so proud of me because I was brave to be on camera. Because, you know, a lot of people, like, you know, when we behind the cameras typing, 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 we don't want y'all to see us because it's easy for us to, to drag your faves if you don't know what we look like. <laughs> Just true tea. You know, it is what it is, especially as women, because y'all will drag women no matter what they look like. So um, there's that. Um, you said Michelle, who passed away, Tamara Tattles. She also got into it with a couple of uh, YouTubers around that time. Because, you know, a uh, written blog was different from, from YouTube. And I told y'all that years ago when I came on here. And I was a little elitist back then. So if you watch some of my old videos, I used to say it too. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about. You know, Google is your friend, whatever. But um, Tamara got into it, I think, with Tisa Tales and another blogger called uh, Tamara Tattle Tales. And she felt like they were like infringing on her uh, copyright. So, you know, she reached out with them. She wanted them to change their name, whatever. Because I think the Tisa, she told me that Tisa, you know, a lot of people would get her confused with Tamara because, you know, they were talking about the same things or whatever. But, um, you know, she was somewhat of a recluse. Um, and that's why, you know, when I say our sources were different, like, cause at the time I was out in the streets and she never left the house. So I was like, we couldn't possibly have the same sources, but I guess, you know, as long as you got a phone, you have sources. Um, and so, you know, she had been, uh, tweeting and, 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 um, uh, mentioning online a lot about her health. Uh, I recall maybe a couple of months ago, um, she was tweeting about, uh, she was looking for, for healthcare and I'm like, oh, as old as you are, how you ain't got no health care? How do you not have no insurance? Okay. And I know, you know, blogs don't pay that much, but I know she was getting paid a little bit. So, um, yeah, I just didn't, I just, you know, it is what it is. Nobody playing with the deceased. We are just talking, honey. Um, did you see Junkie Dineva stinking ass trying to drag another black woman? We're going to get there next, guy. We're going to get there next. Um, she said, I wish her nothing but the best. Okay. But you know, she's deceased. Well, you're yeah, talking. Okay. I'm just telling you what I know about her. This is my ode to her as a blogger. I would hope somebody would come and tell y'all the truth about me when I pass away. We all gonna leave you. I ain't saying that mean. I don't know nothing mean about her. I know nothing mean about her. I'm talking about from a per professional level. I respected the fact that she did her research. Okay, she sat at her house, she sat in front of them TVs, she took notes on all these reality shows. She really could have been a great YouTuber because when I say she recapped the hell out of Bravo reality shows, like every single one of them, the 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 the, the I don't even know half names of them, but she recapped all of the reality shows. So um, you know, there's that you said sometimes health insurance premiums are expensive, they are expensive, especially for self-employed. Trust me, I know. For years, when uh, I first started my blog, I didn't have any either. And my friend said the same thing to me. Child, you get too old not to have health insurance. And I'm like, you absolutely right. And I went and got me <laughs> up under Obama, Obamacare. And I've had it ever since, okay? But um, she was reaching out a lot. You know, she had lost her dog earlier this year, Banjo. I'm just telling you what I know about it. This is just from, you know, we follow each other on Twitter. We talking to each other, DMs. She throw me a little bit. I throw a little bit. I tell a little bit, you know, tell us tea every now and then because, you know, I wasn't really typing on the site. So I would tell her stuff that I knew. Um, and yeah, so 
He said, uh, it's true. She would give a play by play and you really ain't have to watch. Okay. That's what I liked about the situation. Like, you know, I didn't watch any of those shows, but I can appreciate bloggers who took the time to do that. Cause I used to do it and it got to be so tedious. Like if you've ever been on my site for any length of time, you know, I used to, uh, re review, uh, they paid me very well too. um, being Mary Jane every week. Being Mary Jane, I mean, from the rooter to the tutor, I used to give y'all breakdowns of what was going on on Being Mary Jane. The Real Housewives of Atlanta, of course, you know about those recaps. So the, the recaps used to be like long and stuff. So, you know, there's that. Um, you know, I, I do appreciate how her legacy is left behind on the website. Like, think about it. Like, us bloggers, we have built what we have built online and it's there until somebody take it off or I guess until we don't pay our hosting bill or whatever, whichever comes first. Um, but, um, you know, her website, I think she didn't pay any hosting. She was on WordPress or either blogger for a long time. And so, you know, it may be up in for perpetuity forever. And, um, you know, there's that. But I really appreciated uh, Tamara and, you know, what she did. You know, despite, you know, y'all feeling that she catfished y'all. Every now and then I would give her the side eye too. You know, people had their own views or whatever. But, you know, there's that. But, yeah, God bless her. God bless her. It's sad, though. It's a lot of people just like 2023, dang, getting to see it. I'm just saying 2023 is... Oh, and you, you get I, listen. I almost went back to the blog just off the basis of she gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, we lost another one. We lost another one and another one and another one. It's just, I don't know. It's just unfortunate. Okay. It's just unfortunate. Um, anywho, she was 58 years old and uh, her memorial service and everything is tomorrow. So if y'all want to um, pay homage, y'all can. Um, and there's that. And y'all go visit her site, get her some more clicks and views and stuff. Okay. Um, she clearly didn't, you know, listen, her family didn't put up no go for me. So y'all can't drag her on nothing. Y'all can't drag on not having uh, life insurance. Y'all can't drag. Listen, she she died a week ago and she getting buried less than a week ago and she getting buried uh, tomorrow. So there's that. You're like, yes, people is dropping like flies. Right. And Gangsta Boo's funeral is this weekend, too. <sighs> All right. R.I.P. Camera battle.